Over the years, I have bought a lot of video game Funko Pops, so today we're gonna be taking a look at every single one that I have. Well, hold on, besides Pokemon, because that could be an entire video in itself. And so let's start by talking about my random figures, the ones that I only have one of from a certain game. And I'm not saying that I don't enjoy the game, it's just these are the only ones that I really wanted to pick up from that. And let's start on the side here, which is Kegney Carnation. A really great one from Cuphead. And then next to that, we've got the Pip-Boy version of Vault Boy, one of my favorites from the Fallout series. And then we've also got Qbert, Spyro, Butt Stallion from Borderlands. I thought this one was so cool when I first found it. Then after that, we've got Dig Dug, which is technically from the 8-bit category, but I wanted to throw it in because it is like one of the only 8-bit ones that are also video games. Actually, I say that, but there are a couple others, but still, it's the only one that I've got, so I figured I might as well throw it in. Then we've also got one that I feel like not very many people know exists. It's Sackboy from, of course, Little Big Planet. And I think out of all of the ones that we're going to be talking about today, it is definitely in maybe my top three. I was going to say top five, but then right at the end, I pushed it up a little bit higher because seriously, it is a great figure. And then actually a newer addition to my collection, we've got that Space Marine from Doom. I just picked this one up, I think, like, maybe a couple months ago. Now, hold on, everybody. Before we get on to the next set of video game pops, I have to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. If you guys have never heard of them before, they're an app and website where you could buy, sell, and even auction off your own collectibles. And I, personally, have been using them for a long time to find rare figures that I need for my collection. And for anybody wondering, you can find pretty much any video game Funko Pop you want on the app, which is seriously crazy. Also, if you download the app using my link in the description down below, you can get $10 off your first purchase, which is practically a free Funko Pop. And so thank you again to WhatNot for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into the pops. Then everybody, we've got Portal 2, and I know this one just kind of squeaked out of the random category because I have two of them from this set. It is both Atlas and Peabody, probably my two favorites from this set. And there are two others in this collection, which is Shell as well as Turt, but I only have these ones because my brother picked up the other ones. And so I figured why bother buying all of them because he's got them, I could show them off when I do a video about them, but the problem was I can't find them. I don't know what happened, they're somewhere in his room, but they have just completely disappeared. So for today, we've got these two, and if I ever find them, maybe we'll show them off in the future. But the good news is we're doing my collection and not his, so it's still technically complete. And now very similar to Portal 2, I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna say, Tristan, don't you have more of them from this. Well, yes, they're technically in the house, but they're my brothers. And so the only Overwatch ones that I have in my collection still are these ones here that I just picked up recently from Overwatch 2. Because whenever you would see them in older videos, they go directly to his collection. And these ones are ones that I actually wanted. So we've got Cassidy as well as Echo, two of my favorites. And I know I talked about this a little while ago, but the only one that I'm missing from this newer wave is Reaper. I still haven't been able to find him. Now we've got an interesting set because this is one of the original video game ones. We've actually got plants versus zombies. And you know what, now that I think about it, I don't even know if this is part of the video games line, or maybe it is the first ones that they did, because it doesn't actually say pop games. It literally has nothing in the corner, but I figured I might as well include them, because they are, of course, a video game. And there is also three other characters in the set that I do want to try to get, which is the zombie pea shooter and disco zombie. If you guys want to check them out, here they are on the back. And if you guys didn't know this about me, I think Plants vs. Zombies was honestly one of my favorite mobile games, and I actually still play it to this day. I recently downloaded it from Steam. I think I talked about this when I first bought the Sunflower one, but yeah, I recently re-downloaded it because they had it on Steam for like four bucks. And I played all the way through. I should probably go back though and try to get every achievement. That could be fun. Now we've got a set that I'm pretty sad that I didn't pick up all of them for when they were in stores. It is Pac-Man. Because when it first released, I was like, you know what? I'll just get Pac-Man. I don't need to get the others, but now I'm a little bit bummed. So I've been going back and trying to get more of them. And more recently I got Inky, but I'm still missing Miss Pac-Man, Blinky, Clyde, Pinky, and Blue Ghost. There's a lot that I need to get. And this is probably just going to be one of those sets that I slowly pick up over time, because like I said, I do really want to finish this. Now, everyone, we've got Crash Bandicoot, and for this set here, I kind of picked up the most interesting ones to me. And we actually have some from three different games here. We've got the Aku Aku from the original Crash Bandicoot, as well as this one here, which I'm not exactly sure what he's called. Oh, it's just Crash Bandicoot. But it's the version of him where he's kind of in like a tornado, very similar to like the Tasmanian Devil, where his feet are spinning. I don't know, just a really, really unique one. And then we also have this Crash Bandicoot here from Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. And I'm kind of curious on the name for this one. Crash Bandicoot in mask armor. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, he is wearing that. And then the last one that we've got here over on the side is actually a pop ride, not technically in the games, but it's Crash Bandicoot, so we've got to talk about it. This is him from Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, and it's just such a sick one. I love the way they did him in an actual go-kart. Actually, I say go-kart. I mean, it kind of looks like a go-kart, maybe more of like a 
yeah, we'll count it as a go-kart, whatever. Now here, everybody, is another set that I wish I had more of them from. It's Minecraft. And actually, you know what? Looking on the back of the box here, I have pretty much every single character. I am just missing Alex as well as a skeleton, but I do have, well, I guess now, technically, this isn't an ocelot. It is a tuxedo cat. But this is the chase for the ocelot. And anyways, when I find the Minecraft ones, it's very similar to the Pac-Man as well as a bunch of other ones that we've talked about. I'll probably be picking them up slowly. Because they are a really fun one, and I'm kind of sad that Funko hasn't made more of these because they released in, yeah, 2017? It's been a while. And I do know that more recently, Funko has been releasing Minecraft merchandise because they did a t-shirt a little while ago to Target. I think it was maybe last year or the year before, so they could make more pops. And Funko, if you're watching, I would love some more characters, like maybe some mobs like a pig, cow, sheep, enderman. I don't know, I'm trying to think here. Zombie? I mean, they could do so much stuff, and I would pick up every single one of them. As well as also go back to try to get the original ones. And anyways, let's talk about the ones that we've got here, which is Steve in diamond armor, Steve in enchanted armor. It's technically probably like iron armor that is enchanted. It's just a little bit hard to do, so that's why it's purple. And then like I mentioned earlier, we do have the tuxedo cat, as well as the charged creeper and the normal creeper. Actually, hold on, not just the normal one. This is the FYE exclusive that glows in the dark. Technically normal, but like, uh, you know, a little bit more fancy. And now this here, everybody, is probably my biggest collection out of all of the games. We have Sonic. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna have to read the names as I go through here because of the amount that I've got. But over here, we have the Sonic with the Sega Genesis version for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's one of the covers that they've done for video games. It was actually the first one in the set. I am such a big fan of this one. And I remember it was sold out pretty much everywhere. And then I found it over at, I think it was my GameStop, like two or three months after it had released. It was weird, but hey, at least I was able to get it. And then after that, we've got the classic Sonic. Then as we jump across over here, we have the flocked version of Tails as well as, I believe this one here is just Sonic with rings. Oh no, it's also the metallic version. Then below that, we've got Shadows, one that I just picked up recently. And then after that, we've got the flocked version of Knuckles. And I believe this one here, yeah, is the Hot Topic exclusive glow-in-the-dark version of, is it, Sh ah, no, it's Silver, I almost said Shadow. Definitely a mouthful. But anyways, we also have the Sonic the Werehog, as well as, is this one here, I believe it is Super Sonic. It is the first appearance version. Then over here on the end, we also have the 60th anniversary of Sega, and this one here is the Super Tails and Super Silver. And now I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be excited that I'm showing off this set because I have been getting comments for months about me doing my entire collection, so hey, we're finally doing it. And now everybody, here is the Five Nights at Freddy's collection, where I have a good amount, but nowhere near a complete collection. I've kind of been trying to go back and pick up some of the older ones because I more recently got into Five Nights at Freddy's, like within the last like two years. And now I am picking up most of the newer ones because I do have Balloon Foxy as well as the Circus Freddy and Balloon Bonnie. Yeah, but Balloon Bonnie, right? Yeah, that's the one. And then also down at the bottom here, I do have the entire collection of the tie-dye ones. So we've got the Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, some pretty nice figures. And then over here is all of my original ones that I've got. So we have the Freddy, as well as Foxy, Bonnie, and then Golden Freddy. And now some of you guys might be wondering, where is the rest of them? Well, I actually used to have a couple of them in my collection when they first released, but I got rid of them. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know why, because I used to have the Flock version of Freddy Fazbear. I would love to have that one today. And so for now, this is all of the Five Nights at Freddy stuff that I do have in the collection. And of course I have other figures like how they've made their Snapsies as well as their action figures, but we're just taking a look at the Pops today. And well, everybody, there we go. That is all of the video game Funko Pops that I've got in the collection. And now I've got to ask, in your collection, do you have any video game ones? But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I'll see you tomorrow.